going back to um, Ryan's point that we shouldn't bring up weed in California, why not? If you see a pair of Jordans that are $300, $400 and you can't afford them, would you get them? No, because you can't afford them because the, min the wage that you earn is not is not enough to pay for those Jordans, so why would you live in a state that you can't afford? Um, additionally, they also talked about um, the less hours, less hours and employment. Um, they said it didn't affect it. However, um, research showed that the statistic analysis indicated that once fully implemented, increase in the minimum wage for this is for Washington to, to thirteen um, fifty an hour would reduce. Oregon's, oh sorry, Oregon's employment by approximately 55,000 and increase to $15 an hour would reduce Oregon's employment approximately 67,000. That is a lot of people out of a job. And you know who those people are? People who have little to no education, unschooled workers, and us, basically, people who are in school. According to the online article on the OC Register by Margaret Roosevelt, she stated, um, Economists are divided over the new law. UC Irvine David, UC Irvine's David Newmark has suggested a 15 minimum wage would reduce employment among the least skilled by 10% or more. Additionally, the, um, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Washington's accommodation and food services jobs have fallen by 5.7%. These are the jobs that you and I hold. They're also claiming that by giving more money for minimum wage, that workers will have an incentive to work harder, but really, if I was making $15 an hour, why would I work harder? What would be my next level to move up if I'm already making as much money as my managers do? Also, the people that it will affect most is gonna be the inner, the low-skilled immigrants and, um, and minorities and inner-city teens which is around our age, probably your sisters, your brothers. So that's who it's gonna affect. The minimum wage won't help them. It will probably hurt them more because they can't get these jobs because they don't have any experience. Um, they also said that it would not, caught, it would not uh, affect the business, but um, Forbes.com also stated that business will be forced to cut labor costs and increase costs of the products and services. Obviously, if I'm gonna be paying, I'm gonna be getting paid fifteen dollars an hour. My employer is gonna raise up everything. Now, a T-shirt is gonna cost not twenty five dollars, gonna be thirty five dollars. You'll see the inflation starting to cause in in our environment around us. And from also personal experience, if I had um, the minimum wage increase as starting level jobs was great. I had extra money in my pocket, and I also felt like it was a positive. However, when looking for full-time employment, it was a lot harder because of the minimum wage increase. Yes, the minimum wage increase is giving you more money, but it's actually cutting jobs. Like Paulina said, only 2% of minimum wage workers are full-time. That means that the rest of us are working part-time jobs. And if you're trying to live a substantial life in California, that's going to be at least two to three minimum wage jobs. So what's the point of hiking up the minimum wage if we're just hurting people? I'm going to kill myself working two minimum wage jobs to make ends meet. When realistically, uh, the minimum wage worker is not the only um, only source of income in the family. It's actually two or three other people in the family that are also contributing to this so that if it adds up it's going to be a livable wage in california ultimately ultimately um the cause the causes of minimum wage will be irreparable damage to california the professor of economics uc date uci david newman says i would go as far as to call this reckless so we need to take a look at this and reevaluate this this plan Thank you.